Longtime viewers will remember back in the day when I used to do a video series called Two Things and a Rant, Two Announcements, and then me just venting about something, sometimes positive, sometimes negative. And since I have two things to announce and a rant on my brain, it is a perfect day to bring it back for this video. So I'm also taking you on a drive around town with me to show you a little of our fall color. Thing number one, the gift cards are back and functional on the website. I had to get a new plug-in. Long story short on the old one, it was once a $29 a year plug-in because you have to have these for each functionality of your website. But it turned out that the email that they had asked me to resubscribe for $20 wasn't actually a deal. It turned out it was $20 a month instead of $29 a year. And once I figured out what was going on, I booted them to the curb and I found a new plugin. So what that means is if you have an old gift card, then when you're ready to use it, just email me since the old code number isn't going to function and I'll just get you hooked up. Thing two, you need to update your wish list this week. Why? Because I want you to save money. While fixing the wish list function and making sure it now shows up inside your account, I discovered that I can see what's been saved to the most wish lists. I'm going to be picking from the top wish listed items to do deeper discounts on Black Friday and for ongoing sales in December and next year too. So remove anything you've already got. Add more things to your list that you do want, and you can remind your friends to do it as well and see if they will help you to rig the vote just by adding your favorite classes to their list and add their favorite classes to your list and see if you can bump them up so they get a bigger discount. I am totally cool with that kind of rigging. So that's thing one and thing two, the gift cards and the wish list. And now I get to rant. And this one has a backstory, a mom backstory. Way back in the day, my fine artist mom, my oil painter mom, had gotten into stamping and card making because when she came to visit once, I hooked her up. I showed her how you use stamping inks and which stamp inks were for which medium and how to use a misty. And she was about to become a shopping monster. She was just getting started with supplies and I sent her a ton of stuff too. Back in the day, I was still accepting a lot of free product, which I don't anymore because then I feel like I have to say nice things about it, even if I don't like it. Well, back then I had lots of excess stuff and mom got my extras, just boxes and boxes of it. I sent her some Copics. I sent her a hex chart. She bought more Copics because she loved them. Well, one time I had gotten a batch of knockoff brand alcohol markers. And it was one of the early ones. Nobody's even heard of it. But while I didn't like them, I knew that mom wouldn't know the difference. She'd be fine with it. So I sent her those along with the little test hex chart I made while I was testing them. And she came back at me with a request to make her her own custom hex chart. One that had these new pens along with her colors of Copics. Just the color she had. She didn't want the whole thing on there. She did not realize quite what it takes to make one. And I also knew she was going to keep buying more colors. So I would have to re-update her chart again and again. So I had to tell her no. We talked about it over and over and she eventually decided that I should just do a chart with several brands on one page so that she could compare them side by side. Because as an oil painter, she loved color and she always knew if she wanted a desaturated red or a blue of a particular temperature or a yellow that was dark enough to be creamy in its appearance. And yes, you can tell the apple didn't fall too far from the tree in my family. I patiently explained that no person was going to have two brands of markers because they're pricey and nobody's going to commit to multiple brands. So all the time that I would spend on a combo chart would go to waste. I would have like 12 people in the industry that would be helped by it and it wouldn't do anything for anybody else. And that's not worth the time to invest in that. Fast forward to now multiple brands of alcohol markers that are usable showing up, which means lots of conversion charts are showing up. And here I come to my rant. I can't stand conversion charts, even the ones I have made because usually it's a list of one brand and its colors on one side with a color opposite it that might or might not be a great match. 
because when you choose a matching color, you have to pick either saturation level or the, uh, the value or the hue. Is it a cool or a warm temperature? There's so many factors that go into that decision. And every artist is going to make a different decision on the same colors, unless there's an exact match and there's rarely an exact match. So I finally did it. I spent weeks now on making a combo chart for Copics and Ohuhu. Yes, two brands on one chart. And you can now see the full range of colors that can match your target. You're not limited to the chart maker's perception on the day they pick that color anymore. You can pick the one that works for your art piece from a wide choice around it on the chart. I spent a lot of the time working on this chart asking my mom to give me wisdom from heaven on which color to put next to another. And did I want to match the value or the color temperature or the saturation level? Because mom was good at that. So she is deeply invested in this crazy chart. I'll be making a longer video later on dedicated to explaining more of how you could use this chart. But before I do, I would love for a couple of you to get it and give me some feedback on what you will use it for, how helpful it is or isn't. So read the notes on the cover page. There's a how to use it page and see if that makes sense to you. And if there's stuff that should be added or explained better, but you might be wondering, is this chart for me? Well, obviously if you own both brands, you may want it. I don't know. Maybe you already don't need it. You might decide that two separate charts are better and more usable day to day because you're just going to use one brand at a time. Or maybe you decide that one chart together is better. I would love to know if you'll be referencing the combo chart more often or the separate ones, because I need to tell people whether or not they even need this thing. If you only own one brand of the two, it might not make sense to even get it. Because if you're good at picking your own colors when following a tutorial, if somebody says a medium blue and you just pick a medium blue and you're fine with it, then this chart is a total waste of your money, but you do you. But if you have a single brand and get this chart, you'll likely only be using the color chart version, the color PDF, since you can't fill in the full black and white. Just remember that no color chart will be accurate once it goes through my scanner, to my computer monitor, to my PDF maker, your PDF reader, your printer driver, and then whatever paper you choose to print it on. So take color with a grain of salt, but the proximity of colors can still show you what might be a match. I'm hoping the funds from this chart will cover some of the expenses for getting to mom's memorial and burial in a few weeks. And I am looking forward to finally getting to hug my sisters and having a good cry together because we haven't been together since mom passed in August. So wouldn't you know it, even though mom is gone from this earth, she's now proven right again. She knew you would buy multiple brands of markers and that I should make this chart and more like it potentially. So thank you, mom, for coming back to help me make this chart, for telling me you were always right. You're still right. And I miss you. I miss you so much.